an emotional send-off for a man respected by many in the country. This is the final prayer for Abdullah Sheikh Abbas, Somalia's public works and housing minister, who was shot dead on Wednesday by security forces outside the country's presidential palace. Somali president led government officials in prayers after cutting short his state visit to neighboring Ethiopia. The death of the 31-year-old, who was also a first-time lawmaker, has created uncertainty among his fellow members of parliament who want an overhaul of the country's security sector. Security forces must live up to the expectations of the people. The security situation remains fragile, and we expect government forces to do their work diligently. The people of Somalia want peace and stability, and we don't want to hear of any assassination or killing of civilians or government officials. Three government soldiers have been arrested in connection to the killing of Somalia's youngest minister. And in an emergency cabinet session on Thursday, the government sacked its Auditor General to pave way for credible investigations. After careful deliberations, the Somali Prime Minister, flanked by the Council of Ministers, sacked the Auditor General to pave way for credible investigations. The Council also heard from the security chiefs on better ways to enforce security in the capital and across the country. But the Auditor General is fighting back, saying the Prime Minister has no power to sack him, adding that it's the country's parliament that only has the mandate. Parliament is currently in recess, and it's now uncertain how this case will unfold. The late minister, a former refugee from Dadaab in northern Kenya, was seen by many as a rising star after defeating a three-time lawmaker in 2016 to becoming a member of parliament and also the youngest minister in the country's political history. Somalia's president has promised to enhance security measures across the country and has since created a plan to restructure the country's national army and the police force. Meanwhile, in the streets of the capital, drive-by shootings and targeted assassinations of key government officials has hindered the government's ability to deliver. Minister Abbas becomes the first member of parliament and first sitting minister to be killed since the election of President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo on February 8th. Abdul Aziz Bilon, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.